Hey guys and gals, let's unbox and have a look at the bricks and pieces in the family house by Lego City. This is set number 60398, contains 462 bricks, retails for $59.99, and was provided by the Lego group for early review. So, that's pretty much what it is, just a house, looks like that might be medium nougat. There's the back, and... I don't know, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot on it, so I don't expect too much in here. Well, let's open this up and see what we have in the box. Thumb pusher things, of course. And... No, I might be wrong here. Is there anything else hiding in there? Yeah, a bunch of manuals. They didn't come out. Okay. All right, first thing we're going to do... Well, we got the stickers, and... For this being a smaller set, and there we go. It looks like the stove is actually printed. <laughs> and we have, looks like, two manuals. So it looks like manual one doesn't tell you what we're doing. Well, I don't know. There's two. And, well, there's a third manual. Oh, there it is. Right now I checked. I thought there was only two in there. And there it is. Yeah, well, we don't know yet. I don't think there's three bags in this set. Let's put those stickers in. Booklet one for safekeeping. And we're going to tackle that. So we got five, three, miscellaneous... Nothing. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, and one missile. So there's actually six bags in total. Well, I don't know. We're going to look at this one first. Let's start with the miscellaneous unnumbered bag. And we're going to take a look in here. Well, as you can tell, we get a bunch of plates, but what do we get in here? Okay, we got an 8 by 16 by 2 thirds road plate. And. 8 by 16 by 2 thirds plate, and 8 by 8 2 thirds plate, and one of these 8 by 8 lattice plates in brick yellow, or sand yellow. I wish that was solid instead of that. Ooh, I could have used this. Remember the campground? Yeah, this is an 8 by 16, and boy, that's kind of warped. I don't know, but I could use these, so there we go. That's one that I don't have to get now. Let's dive into bag one, see what kind of goodies are in here. I hope there's any more of that sand yellow stuff, because I can use that for terrain building. And I think we've got parts to make a car. Here's the windshield with a nice little scratch right there. Well, let's strike one on that one. Brick separator and some of these mud guards. Here's another one of these, but this one's not as sloped. They're different. And this one here looks like it's in pristine condition, so that's pretty good. And a vehicle chassis, some 2 by plates, rims. I found the soccer ball and one of these little hood pieces and nice mini figure head here's some legs some short legs must be the dad well, that's a nice torso 4x4 four four plate. Oh, we got some sand green pants. And somebody's got curly hair. Going for the TikTok look, huh? And then we got a 4x6x2 four by by thirds plate with bow. I believe that's what they're called. And one of these with the 45 degree inverted slopes. Nice watering can. And yes, it's a early morning unboxing. <laughs> And we got some 1x2 bricks and one of these little steering wheels. We've seen those a billion times. And here's another torso. 
Then we got a little dog. I don't know what kind of dog that would be. Could be a Chihuahua or maybe a Pug. I don't know. And one of these little brackets used for making vehicles. We got some wide rim tires. Torso. What's a dinosaur? This must be for the kid. <laughs> and some one by two by one wall elements. And one of these windscreens that doesn't have the glass in them, but I've been looking for these in white. Well, here we go. It must be for the soccer goal. And some red or dark red pants and one of these one by two bricks with the ones with a little snap on the side and you also got some of these with the bearing plates and stuff not too bad and we're going to see what we have in here What is that? He's got a pierced ear? Or is that one of those Bluetooth things? Okay, well, I gotta... Well, hey, we have the commentary now for the build. <laughs> so if you want to watch that on my second channel, we're going to have fun with this little dude. Oh, wow, we're really going to have fun. He's got a curb brim snapback. Well, that's really going to be fun. And then we got some nice light light blue stud flowers jumper plates and one by two transparent tiles and some of these cheese slopes in this color and some two by three plates some more stud flowers here's a wig i don't think that's for the boy it could be and some handles for a pail and there's one of these one by two plates with the friction stub and that's all the transparent stuff we get in here did we just look at this yeah we did well that's not too bad for the parts in bag one but let's see what bag two has all right well bag two looks kind of gloomy i've been noticing a lot of bag twos that have been kind of bland lately so uh, let's see here well, we obviously get a lot of door frames. I can always use these. Uh-oh, are these scratched? Let's take a look. Well, this one's pretty good. Let's set this. I'm going to get one of these 6 by 8 frames. I'm going to use that to set the glass on. Here's one of these ones, that, the larger ones. And, oh yeah, this one's really scratched. Probably can't pick it up. I wish I had something that was dark colored, but I can put it over the dark area of the tripod. Well, we honestly know now that the review on this is going to be marked down instantly to a 9. So no matter how good it's going to get, that's the best it's going to get. Yep, these are scratched. And when I fill out the paperwork for the reviews, I'm going to say I don't appreciate getting scratched stuff. Now this one here is in good shape. But I got a bunch of these in my inventory. Uh, looks like that's an injection when they inject the plastic. Yep, so remember I said I give them three strikes and that's it. So we're checking all the glass. See, here's another one here that's scratched. I'm going to be honest, guys and gals. I may start dinging two or three. I, every three pieces, I may start dinging them down. Lego's going to wonder why. See, this is scratched. These are, these are garbage. All right. It's already set the tone for the review, huh? <laughs> and some more of these 1x6x6 frames. And we got some of these slope uh, sunroof things, which is like a, you know, they take the glass that goes in a normal 1x4x3 frame. You can also put, like, shutters or stuff like that in there. I don't really have a use for these, but... Uh, I kind of wish they were the full-size ones, like the old ones. Ooh, that's a nice piece. I wonder if that's going to get a sticker. That'd make a great tabletop. And some bins, some 2 by 2 bricks. 2 by 8 plate, 1 by 8 plate. And some of these dark orange 2 by 2 plates with the two studs. Probably used for seating. I've been seeing those a lot being used for seating. And... 1x6 and 1x2 bricks, 
so there's some one by one by five column bricks. Do I even need to look at this? I bet this one's scratched. Um, always check and make sure. Yeah, it's got a couple of dings in it. Oh, they're going to get an earful from me. <laughs> so if you get these sets, they're going to be scratched. I'm not going to lie to you. You may get lucky. A couple of these little balls with the cross axle inside. So you better stick that on a cross axle. One by four Technic brick. Oh, we actually get a two by two ridge slope. Well, those are rare. I rarely ever see those anymore, especially in that size. Use those for the tiny house tutorial. And one by one by five column bricks, two by threes, yeah. Well, let's see what's in here. And why didn't they put the clear stuff in here? Beats me. I may just start, I may, and I, I think the next, after this set, I think that the next one gets scratched pieces. I'm just gonna ding them flat out to a five, which is just a failing grade at that point. I'm hardcore on reviews. I know it's a kid's toy and all, but it looks like I got used stuff at this point. Well, anyways, Back to this, we got some 1x2x2 by two by two corner flat tiles in black, some radiator grills, and some of these green pieces like candlesticks, and then they have some of these right here that look like little uh, watering cans, and you have some little plant pieces. These are handy for like foliage, like for nature stuff, you know. And two leaf pieces. Lego, you sent me all this scratch stuff. I thought I would at least get about a thousand of those in that box. And we got ourselves an ice cream cone, and... Some bright green studs and some friction pins. Well, stud flowers and one of these two by two round jumper plates. And one carrot, you know. I mean, <laughs> yeah, despite the scratch nonsense, that's not too bad. All right, let's see what's in bag three. Let's see how much scratched merchandise we get in this one, huh? Oh, this one doesn't want to open up. Maybe it's got scratched stuff in there. All right. That's, ooh, I've seen these. Never had one in person. This is a 2x3x5 cupboard. They used to have a 2x3x4, but I have one in my collection, just one. I don't know if the drawers fit in there. Oh, they do. Oh, you can't put the drawer there. Maybe it's a six stud high. Let me look here. That's six studs, so it's got to be five bricks. Uh, yeah. You can only put two dra four drawers in there. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll give us a door with it, too. We've got to make up for all that. Well, here's a here's a two-by-three-by-two two cupboard, so we got a few of these. Matter of fact, this kind of reminds me of an old Lego set that I had back in the past. It was from the Lego System series, and they had a bunch of cupboards that you can get with drawers and stuff. I remember these were like yellow with the red doors. We got a two by four brick and I'm scared to look at this glass stuff. Let's take a look here and this one's in really good shape. This one probably survived and here's the door. And it's got a pit on there but I'm not going to worry about that door too much. And Okay, this door must go on here, like that. Oh, I thought it was those other type of doors, but no. Okay, it's only got a handle on one side. You know what? These would make good refrigerators. There we go. i just got to get a couple of those. And a 1x4x6 frame, a 2x8 plate, and a 1x8 plate, so that's pretty cool. And I think my camera's... Oh, there we go. I was like, what in the heck's going on here? It must have hit the zoom. Maybe it's the raging. And we have a 1x16 brick and medium nougat. Medium nougat is starting to become a color that I'm kind of eyeballing in terms of building bricks. we got a couple 1x8s and some of these garage door pieces here. I don't know if we're going to use these. We've got a couple of those. and 1x2 and 1x2x5. We got a 1x2 brick with holder. Here we got a sand yellow 1x6 brick. We got a couple of these. Is there a garage door that comes with this? We have 2x4 flat tiles and one of these 1x2x1 double wall 
elements, two by three flat tiles. Okay, we got a nice eight by eight bright green plate. And a one by six by six frame in medium nougat. I'm starting to see these in that color. Make great window frames. Especially if you're building like a cabin with, um, what is it, reddish brown bricks. A couple one by four plates. And some two by two bricks. That's not too bad. And yeah, I like that cupboard, but that's not going to make up for the scratched parts in here. But I can use those. Those make great pantries, too. <laughs> All right, got a door here, probably for one of these. Obviously, it won't fit in that big cupboard, but now, I'm looking for printed stuff, too, and I don't think I've seen anything. Oh, well, wait a minute. I'm correction. There's the milk cart in there, and that's printed. All right, that's good. And we got a tap and one of these studs with the handle on them. Great for shower heads. Ooh, we get some silver metallic forks. Okay, and we also get the frying pan to go with it. Oh no, we get th well, we get three forks. And we get a nasty meat cleaver. <laughs> that's all in silver metallic too. So that's really good. And some of these little frying pans are usually like one by one round plates with stick. One by one flat tiles. You get a one by two ingots and a one by two by two corner flat tile. And a number one one by two rounded plate. And a one by two flat tile with a center hole. Two mugs and transparent light blue round flat tiles and studs. You know, I mean, I like that cupboard though. Hope we get more. All right, let's take a peek in bag four. See some more window frames in there. And I don't see any more of those little covers. Wow. I don't know if I see a little bag full of tiny parts, it kind of gets me worried because there's probably glass pieces in here that are probably scratched. Okay, one of these little extension cords I use for my campers to plug into the full hookup. So there we go. And we got another one of those frames. I, you know, I was excited when they started bringing out the glass for these. Well, I'm not excited anymore because they're all getting scratched. I'm not throwing away money on those. And i got to be careful. This is becoming a rant session. Some dark green 5x6 leaf pieces. A 1x2 brick with one stud on the side. 2x6 plate. And we got a 2x8 plate with slide or track and dark blue. Ooh, I don't have a lot of those in that color. And we got some bluish green two by four plates and one of these one by four by one and one thirds brick with half bail. There's a two by eight plate and some more of these little one by two by five column bricks with the garage door track on them. And I see some one by two bricks of the same type. So if you're looking for regular one by two bricks, I, the set doesn't have a whole lot in there. And some sand yellow one by six bricks, two by three bricks and Reddish brown, one by two by three frame. Uh oh, I see one of these. How bad is it? Yeah. Now this one came in without a scratch. <laughs> wow. We got some two by four flat tiles and one of these four by eight uh, by two thirds uh, slope or ramp. And one by three plates and one by four plates with just the two studs. Some more of these one by eight bricks. Yeah, I mean, oh, you get two of those little string pieces, but yeah, I mean, eh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, these are parts, except for the tan though, but the medium nugget, I don't have a whole lot of bricks in that color, so that's a nice treat to see in here. I mean, I've seen these in some of the other sets, so I don't know. It's like some kind of octan thing, but I don't know what that would be. Um, I'll have to look it up. Well, we get some sand yellow 1x2x2 by two by two corner flat tiles. And a 2x2 two two in brick yellow. That's brick yellow, that's sand yellow. Of course, I call that tan and dark tan. And some more of these little stud flowers. And yes, you see an owie on my hand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, used the socket driver too much, and uh, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> That doesn't hurt. It looks like it hurts, but it doesn't hurt. And some one by two flat tiles. 
So, yeah, that contents in this bag were okay. I mean, some of these pieces I could use. All right, let's see what goodies are in bag five. And this is the last of the bags for this set. I can't wait to see some goodies in here. Well, we got some of these. Uh-oh, are these scratched? Oh, yeah. I mean... Let me see here. Let's try putting it on this dark plate here. And you can see... I mean, that's not dust. Yep. But we got all this in here. I don't understand their packing methods. I guess they're doing it by weight. So this is completely trashed. We got some 6 by 8 plates and dark blue. It would be great for, like, like floor of a sea or something. We got some solar panels. Oh, well, we got two of them. They're printed. I need to order some more of those. Those are always cool to have. Oh, we only got three of them. Maybe we'll get lucky and Lego will make up for the scratched parts and give me about 500 of those. Oh, we only got four? Well, I mean, it's not enough to power up a lamppost. I don't know. And some 1x12 bricks. And yes, I'm trying not to go into rant mode, but yeah, it's just... The quality has been kind of lacking lately. Some 2x8 bricks. Those are good for, like, making beams for roofs. 2x4 brick. Okay. Some sand yellow 2x3 plates. I was looking for these. Well, for the campground, there they are. And a 1x4x6 frame, a 1x2x3 frame, and a 2x4x6 frame. These are great door frames for, like, if you want to put siding around a door or something. I have a tutorial for that as well. And 2x3 bricks, 1x3 bricks. Hmm couple of hinge pieces here. I also get them in white. One by six plates, some two by four slopes, two by six blue flat tiles. I'm not sure what I'd use those for. I, mean, I already have an idea for those. Uh, four by six plate and a one by six flat tile and some of these uh, three by three quarter round plates. Alrighty, well, now we're down to the nitty gritty here. I think that's probably the roof, so I don't know if this build's going to be modular or not yet. Hoping it is to make it fun to build. And then we got ourselves a little cell phone, a modern one that's black. Pretty cool. I can always use more of those. Any more printed goodies in there? No, but we get one of these. I think this is a light royal blue. 1x3 jumper plate, we get two of those. Some carrot tops, stud flowers, friction pins. Another one of these in yellow. 1x2 plates. I got a pair of squashed 1x1 brick. And some metallic silver studs. 1x1 bricks. Some 1x1 bricks with the one stud on the side. One by two jumper plates, one by one plates, a one by two plate with a 45 degree slope on the side. Now, uh, all right, just make it a throw that. I think I just, yeah. I'll save my, I'll save my rants. I gotta start saving my rants for the, uh, for the uh, build of these. That's just for the build of it. And this one here. I know the stuff that comes in these little bags is in pretty decent shape, so that's pretty good. And we also got a 2x2 two two ridge slope. Okay. Any more in there? Yep, we get four of those. 45 degree double slopes. And 1x2 flat tile, 2x3 flat tile. You know, why don't these really get heavily scratched? They're just flat tiles. You really can't see through them like these. I mean, to a, a child building this, that's one thing, but for somebody like myself who gets nitpicky on things, yeah. One by three plates, one by four by one wall elements. These are great for like making stairs, stuff like that, or just going around a countertop and a two by four flat tile in dark blue. So, let's take a look at all the parts in this set. And despite of pretty much most of the glass in here is in that rough condition, 
Looks like we get a decent assortment of parts for $59.99. And the parts are coming in scuffed like this. It's getting to be more of a joke than anything else. There's a, oh, that's a sparkly nose cone. But for, for me though, um, there are some useful pieces in here, except for the glass. Well, at least for me anyways. Hopefully Lego will fix this stuff eventually and put these in their own bag. And I'm not talking about them individually packaging these. I'm talking about Lego putting all the clear pieces in their own bag and just putting them in like that. At least some, it will give it some protection instead of throwing it in here like this with a bunch of other parts. That's the whole point about doing these unboxings is to see exactly what kind of parts and what condition they're coming in. And I've noticed more and more lately, this is the type of quality control I've been seeing in a lot of these unboxings. So I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so what do you guys think of the parts in this set? Is it pretty cool? It looks like you're getting $60 worth of parts. For me, uh, well, I'm trying to get past the scratch stuff, but not really. And if you've got any horror stories you'd like to tell about your scratch scuffed experiences, <laughs> let me know. I'm kind of curious. I, I can't be the only one getting parts in this condition. But tell me what you think.